A major change is coming to the way doctors and insurance companies evaluate how fit or fat you are. Our Brendan McLaughlin is here with more on this new method of measuring obesity. Brendan? Hey, Wendy, if you've been to the doctor lately, you were probably asked to step on a scale to calculate your BMI or body mass index. But for a growing number of doctors, this simple tape measure is a better tool in predicting your risk from being overweight. So let's take a one pound mm -hmm. of fat and five pounds of fat. Imagine if I had to put this in my neck, I wouldn't be able to breathe. Having performed thousands of surgeries as director of USF's bariatric center at TGH, Dr. Michelle Moore is an expert on fat and the damage it causes. And while a step on the scale is the first step to figuring the widely used BMI or body mass index, it is no longer considered by many doctors to be the best measure of fitness. It doesn't tell us if most of the weight is coming from muscle, mass, or anything else. Dr. Moore says the science shows not all fat is equal. The kind of fat on the limbs and beneath the skin is not nearly as dangerous as the kind that accumulates around the belly and surrounds the vital organs. Because it produces diabetes, hypertension, cholesterolemia, and brings on multiple ailments. That's why comparing the circumference of a person's waist to their height is now considered to be a better predictor of diabetes, stroke, heart attack, cancer, and death than the BMI, which doesn't account for muscle mass or distribution of weight. By some estimate, Arnold Schwarzenegger in his bodybuilding prime would have been borderline obese under the BMI standard. And though the tape measure may tell doctors more than the scale, the waist to height ratio will still just be one of many tools used to evaluate your health. It's an indicator that something is not right and we have to pay attention, but it doesn't tell us the whole story. Still being studied, but under this newer system, you should strive to keep the circumference of your waist less than half of your height in inches. So for somebody like me at 6'1", 73 inches tall, the goal is to keep the waist at 36 inches or less.